Oh, God, these words I can explain forever, but who will listen to me anyway? How many? That pains my heart so much. I sometimes think I have wasted my youth, wasted my time for not much result. When I was younger, I thought I could save the world. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can think like that anymore. In some moments, yes, but <laughs> uh, now I'm too busy to even think. I just try to do my best every second of my life, whatever's left of my life. In a Buddhist sutra, the Lotus Sutra, in one chapter, the Buddha mentioned the story of a very wealthy, loving, caring father who gives everything to his children so they can live in comfort, in luxury. And they had absolutely everything they needed or wanted. But then one day, the children wandered into a kind of uh, palace, ruin, and they were playing in there. And the father saw it was burning, and he was so scared, so afraid for the children, because the children did not know that there were also numerous demons, you know, devils inside the palace who were going to harm them at any time. So he had to try so hard to get them out by different means. But the children were so engrossed in playing and running around in that big palace and did not really try to understand what the father was telling them. And that is similar to this world right now. Or to any time this world has been like that. Many masters came and went because they were worried. They were feeling so compassionate, so merciful toward the humans and all beings who are suffering in this ruined palace of this planet. But their time was also limited. So when they had to leave, they had to leave. No matter how much they love humans and all beings on this planet, when the time had come, they had to leave, because the makeup of the physical body is not to last forever, not like in heavens. So please consider that. Do not linger too long in this world with all kinds of temptation that will drag you down to hell or lower existence forever. Okay, there's another thing I want to tell you in case, in case I will not be successful in rescuing the planet with beings on it. Then many of you who don't remember God, who don't remember the Master's teaching and being busy to the last second of your life for just physical enjoyment, pleasure, you know, success and failure might go to hell. Well, certainly will. So now, that's another thing I want to tell you. In that case, if you have to go to hell, I don't know when you can come out. This time, it takes longer time for all the judgments to be regulated. So in case you go to hell, you must remember well that you will not die in hell or anywhere. Your soul is eternal. And God, of course, eternally loves you. Even if you have to go through a cleansing period here on earth or in hell, remember your soul will never die. Just remember that and pray with whatever might you have. You will not die in hell with all that suffering relentless suffering measured upon you. You will not die. Just remember that. There will be a time when you get out of there. 
And if you get out of there, please remember God to pray for better understanding. If even you can remember God in hell, just pray, please. Pray to God to send help, to send rescue to you, to liberate you from hell. And in this lifetime already, pray for liberation. Pray for God's blessing, mercy, and forgiveness. Pray to God to sustain you in your strength so that you remember God. And pray sincerely. Pray every day. Remember. Pray every day. Save some time. When you wake up, when you work, when you walk, when you eat, when you make love, when you, uh, you know, remember at any time when you have a second of free time, pray, 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 pray to God so that you will be maybe spared from hell. And pray, 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 pray all the time. Pray in hell if you can so that you can be helped and liberated. There are always angels in this world, in hell also, in the next. They can listen to you. If you pray, they will help you. The astral beings in the benevolent buffer zone will hear you and will come and rescue you. Just pray anytime, please pray. And pray for your dead ones and pray for your loved ones as well. Well, at least if you don't have anyone you love, pray for yourself. That's all I can tell you now. May God be merciful upon all of you. Amen. I'm still trying, but I'm not sure anymore. May you be rescued by any possible saints and sages on this planet. You need them. You need their physical help and blessing. May God be merciful to all of us. Amen. Most beloved Master, may your everlasting love and care soon turn all of humanity's hearts toward God and Here's mercy, and that Here's light brings us clarity and understanding of the world's fragile state. We pray that compassion and selfless good actions inspire us every day on the life-saving vegan path, while all Earth inhabitants feel content living together in peace and harmony wishing cherished master wellness, serenity, and the protection of all splendid heavens. Please tune in for the broadcast of Supreme Master Ching Hai's message with more subtitles on Sunday, October 1st, 2023 on Between Master and Disciples. Also, for your reference, please check out the previous related Between Master and Disciples messages and conferences, such as Together We Can Erase World Karma, A Conversation with Demon, Addressing the Creation's System, Humans Must Cooperate and Be Vegan for Lasting Peace and Happiness, Heavens Assist Those on the Benevolent Vegan Path, Appreciate God's leniency and listen to His commandments. Pray for world liberation, etc. To view these and more related Between Master and Disciples messages and conferences, all free for download, please visit suprememastertv.com and search for What's This World Made Of?